Here's your grid then. It's Isabella Stansmore Wilson on pole position with George Ralston alongside Ralphie Branscombe and Rio Wardley on the second row. Jack Collinson and Benjamin Lord on row three. Cameron Tipping, he starts in seventh with Max Gray Trek sharing the fourth row. Amy Peacock and Sam Hayes on row number five with Jensen White and Max Williams on row six. James Fabricius, he starts 13th with Freddie Housigo for company. Max Housigo and Harris Alley are on row number eight with Joshua Sullivan and Lewis Hall on row number nine. Your runners then completed by Alfie Forrester in 19th, Riley Sims-Ezard in 20th with Sebastian Beerman, Joshua Owen and Heat 2 winner Ayrton Rye starting in 23rd place. Hondas then making their way round. Look in the live chat comments. Redline Cardiff saying go Max Gray Trex in the 77. You can do it. And Fearsome asking when is Procar. Well, Procar aren't with us for this round, unfortunately. So it is just our Hondas, Minis, Juniors, and Micro Max runners. Hondas then will roll round. It's a standing start, of course, for them. Slotting into positions, Fabricius is still weaving the wheels to try and get as uh, much as they can. Looks like George Ralston's gone a little bit too far forward because the original P1 here at Park was on the outside. Which means then he's rolled into that natural first grid position for him, but that one is actually crossed off. So it looks like we are pretty much ready to go then the final few runners just rolling into position they've just kept their carts back just in case anybody in front of them needed rolling forwards ever so slightly drivers now will look up towards the red lights on the overhead gantry it's green and we're away and racing here at Ella Park it's a good start from Harris Alley in the middle of the pack he's going to try and make up a few places into this first corner as they tighten into that right-hander, the first 10 or so are in a straight line as they head down towards Shoemakers with Grey Trex having the door closed on him. And then Grey Trex is right up and over the back. Riley sims Ezard as well involved in that. He was spun in evasive action. But Max Grey Trex right up on the back of somebody into that first corner. Don't know who it was. Might get a chance to see that one again in 30 seconds or so time, hopefully, when things have calmed itself down. Here we go then with Max Grey Trex into this first corner. Let's see, it looks like it's the uh, 80 cart of Benjamin Lawn that he's rode up on the back of. I'm sure Benjamin's shoulder will know about that one at the end of this race when the adrenaline wears off. Through though into the lead, George Ralston leads the way from Ralphie Branscombe, although Branscombe with a move down the inside. Can he get it stopped? He can. Ralphie Branscombe, superb overtake, and he is through and into the lead. Branscombe then leading from... Uh, Ralston, then stands more Wilson as there's a move on screen there. That's Sullivan down the inside of House ago. House ago closing the door. And that could allow those behind. Harris Alley's close enough to try and put a move in down the inside. Ralston then has to drop behind Branscombe with stands more Wilson, Collinson, Tipping, Peacock, Ward Alley, White, Lawn, and Fabricius. Your top 10. Benjamin Lawn there, closing in on the back of Jensen White. All of them at the moment, struggling to find a way past the seven of Rio Wardali. Collinson is past Isabella Stansmore wilson at Degna 1. Branscombe though has opened up a gap of four tenths on the previous lap but that looks like it's not quite as much as there's a move in the background there Sullivan down the inside of the 24 of Max Williams Williams is going to get the cut back Sullivan will have to drop back in Jensen White gets alongside Rio Wardali but then can't get, a, can't get down the inside into Clinton's gaggle of carts there they're three and four wide white is finally through down the inside Wardali tries to send it back down the inside and can't and then there's a little bit of contact between two or three of them Sam Hayes forced wide over start finish and down the inside 
It's coming Sullivan and Max, Max Williams working together, pushing through, and they take at least two drivers straight down there, and then they hit hard on the brakes down the inside of Benjamin Lawn as well, taking full advantage of that gaggle of carts being forced incredibly wide. In front of them now, Sam Hayes down the inside of Rio Wardalli and Hayes and Wardalli come together. Hayes is up on the side of Wardalli. They're both heading towards retirement. Marshall is over there. He's going to lift them up off the back. I think that they need at least Wardalli to get out of the car. Yellow flags out down there. And I think we're going to Battenberg situation. We've got the Battenberg flag out. And Ralphie Branscombe's one second lead has been closed right down to nothing. He becomes the de facto safety car. The time will continue to elapse down at the top of the screen, but in order for us to free those carts and free those carts safely, we go down to a Battenberg situation. Half race pace, they have been freed with Hayes and Wardalli, but we are going to slow this one right the way down. The top 10 then, Branscombe, Ralston, Collinson, Stansmore, Wilson, Peacock, Tipping, White, Fabricius, Sullivan and Williams. When they come through, we, the, I don't know whether the field's going to be close enough here for us to go green the first time of asking. Branscombe, though, really is now working to slow the field down, which is what he needs to do. The final, yeah, the final two runners, which are Sam Hayes and Rio Wardalli, are coming round together, albeit some half a lap down. Still remaining under Battenberg, then for one more lap. Behind your race leader, Ralphie Branscombe, who looked comfortable out in the front of this pack. One second was pretty much his gap to George Ralston since that great overtake on the opening lap. And now he's going to have to do it all again. He's effectively here. If he is going to go on and take the victory, he's going to have to take two wins because he's effectively won that first race being open opening up that gap to one and a half seconds. Hayes and Wardalli are still coming round. They're trying to close up. I think they've been told that they can go a little bit quicker than half race pace in order to close this gap back up. At the very least, they're not going to be so far back that it's going to involve them with this rest of this race as they come through. Two minutes and 45, that's roughly going to be about 2.15 when they come through because the field is still quite slow when they come through. We are going to go green this time though. When they come round, I've seen the green flag being readied. The Battenberg is still going to be out round that final corner, but it's going to be Ralphie Branscombe. Who's going to be able to get the jump as they make their way round? Power down, green flag and Branscombe leads them away for the second time. Tipping with a great move. He's looking to come to the inside early on as they're two and three wide in the background there. That's Williams and Hausigo battling it out for what will be 10th place. They head down towards Holmes for the, effectively the first time of this second race here after the nullification of the first half. Branscombe, Ralston, Collinson, your top three. Ralston goes very wide down there at Barney's. Could that allow anybody to get down the inside? Still sliding slightly wide. Collinson in third place, right on the rear bumper in the wheel tracks, the top well, from second down to the best part of 10th, 11th, 12th even, with Williams now running outside the top 10. He's behind Harris Alley. He, Alley's up, and then there's a move down the inside there from Jensen White on camera and tipping. Fabricius has come through as well. So Fabricius taking advantage of Jensen White, pushing the hole down the inside. Branscombe, though, continuing to open up the lead here in heat number three with Ralston, in second place, preoccupied with Jack Collinson, holding him off for that place, looking in the background there. Sullivan goes down the inside of Cameron, tipping into Barney. Good move by the driver of the 13, but he's lost a bit of way from those in front of them. Needs them to battle to close back up on the back of James Fabricius and Jensen White. Just under the one minute mark, they'll get round. It's 40 seconds, so get, the next time round will be the last lap board. Ralphie Branscombe has opened up the gap again to one second almost as Fabricius comes down the inside of Jensen White into Shoemakers. But yeah, Brans Branscombe 
He's opened up the gap that he had when the Battenberg flag came out. So he's up now into the lead, still leading from Ralston with Collinson, then stands Moore Wilson, Peacock, White, Fabricia, Sullivan, Tipping, and Housigo, your top 10. Last lap board awaits Ralphie Branscombe. He's over the line, the gap out as he sets the fastest lap of the race to almost exactly a second right at the front of this race. Stan, uh, Peacock and Stansmore Wilson knows the tail. In fact, Peacock gave Stansmore Wilson a little nudge down the straight just to let her know she was there and then has half a look down the inside into Holmes. Half a lap remaining for Branscombe who's still continuing to open up this gap and as Peacock does go down the inside of Stansmore Wilson, White's going to try and try a similar move on for Bricious and then Sullivan's going to try and go down the inside of Jensen White. They're side by side as they come through the exit of Barney down towards Alan Wound. Fabricius is down the inside of Isabella Stansmore. Wilson has gone slightly wide as well. We'll keep an eye on that. Sullivan's down the inside of White. They'll be side by side. Ralphie Branscombe, though, takes the victory effectively for the second time in this race. Ralston, Collinson, Peacock, Fabricius, Stansmore, Wilson, Jensen White, Joshua Sullivan, Cameron Tipping, and Harris Alley complete the top 10. In front of Freddie Housigo, Benjamin Lorne, Lewis Hall, and Max Williams, Max Greytrex, and Alfie Forrester.